Let's try an example to determine the classifications of a steel member. The member is subjected to a combined bending and axial load. The bending is at its major axis and there is an axial force of 300 kN. Determine the section classifications. If UB of 406 times 178 times 54 is provided, the grade of steel is S275. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. First of all, you need to determine the section property of the UB. You may refer to the table of specifications given by BS4. The sections is here. The dimensions of H, B, S, T, R are given in the table. These values are indicated in the diagram here. From the table of specification, list out all the necessary information. You will need this value for you to work out the solution. Next, you need to determine the steel grade. The steel grade is given 275. You need to refer to table 3.1 in order for you to get the FY. It is found that the thickness of the flange and thickness of the web are less than 40 mm. In this case, grade 275 and for the thickness less than 40 mm, the FY will be 275. You will use the FY for you to determine the parameter epsilon. In this case, the epsilon is equal to 0 0.924. Based on the questions, the loop consists of moment and the axial compression. The axial loop is specified to be 300 kN, but the moment is not specified. In this case, there will be two po possible outcomes of the load condition. When the moment is low, superimpose the Asia load, you will get the entire sections in compression. And when the moment is high, superimpose with the Asia force, then you will get part of the section in compression while another part in tension. The positive value represents the compression. Based on the terminology given in Table 5.2, this represents the conditions of compression and this represents the condition where bending and compression as refer to this column and this column. First, we need to work out the C per T ratio. Based on the illustration given in table 5.2, the C for the web is obtained as 360.4 mm and the thickness of the web is 7.7 .7 mm. The C to T ratio will be equal to 46.81. As for the flank, the C is 74.8 mm, the thickness of the flank is 10.9 mm, and the C per T ratio is 6.86. Let us try the first conditions where the entire section is subjected to compression. The limit for the class 3 is 38.8 and the limit for the class 1 for flange is 8.33. 
the actual limit as calculated just now are 46.81 and 6.86 this number is greater than class 3 therefore it is considered class 4 this number is less than class 1 therefore it is considered as class 1 the component is considered as class 4 for the web and class 1 for the flank therefore the entire section is considered as class 4 next we need to deal with the conditions where bending and compression occur concurrently from the column here the equations vary in accordance to different range of alpha. When alpha is more than 0 0.5, this equation is used. While when it is less than 0 0.5, this equation is used. So we need to first determine the alpha. Unfortunately, the alpha is not given in Eurocode. This equation is given by the reference by the Garner and the Nettercott of Substitute the relevant value into the equations, you will get alpha is 0 0.7 The number is not greater than 1 And it is found that the number is greater than 0 0.5 With that this is used. Substitute the relevant value. You obtain the 52.0 as the limit for class 2. The limit for the flame for class 1 is given here. Substitute the relevant value. You will get it as 14.2. Compared with the actual C to D ratio, you will find the class 2 for the web and class 1 for the flank. In this case, the entire section is considered as class 2.